this video is this video is all about hacking and phishing attack this video is recorded to demonstrate how you can secure your own wi-fi network this is just for educa educational purpose so try this in your own network only do not harm others so i'll show you how you can hack wi-fi using phishing attack and using node mcu esp8266 module you can buy this product from any store, electronic store or online. I'll provide the link in the description to process it. And what are the requirements for this practical? If you are a beginner, if you don't know anything about hacking and phishing, I will show you each and every step in detail. So stick on this video and understand concept and try it by yourself. It will work 100%. Okay, first you need Node MCU ESP8266 device. This is how it looks like. After that, you need Arduino Uno software to code and run the program or write the script. You can download it from this website and install it. It's very easy. Just you need to click next, next, next. It will be installed. Then after that, you need to search in Google ESP8266 Captive Portal. You can get this GitHub link or I'll provide the link in the description. You can just go. Okay, after installing, we, uh, Arduino Uno, the software look like this. You have to go to file option. We are going to connect ESP8266, that is Wi-Fi module, to uh, hack the Wi-Fi. So you need to go to the software first and go to preferences. Click on that and go to this link, GitHub link. I will provide the link in the description. This one, ESP8266 Wi-Fi captive portal. From here, you need to copy this link. So just copy this link from here and paste it here in the Arduino ID, Arduino software. After pasting it, click on OK, the first step. After that, go to Tools option. And from here, you need to search for board. Yeah, you can see board. I've already done everything, so it is showing lots of options. But for the first time, you have to go to Board Manager. Click on this and search here. It is downloading something, so we'll wait for that. And after that, you need to search your ESP8266. So let me wait. OK, type ESP8266. As you can see, here is install option. I have already installed, so we don't need to do anything. If you haven't installed, you can select the version or as it is, you can just click on install. It is already installed. So let's close this. Next step, <clears throat> connect your device with this computer. So I'll connect the device using data cable, and I will select the port from here. I haven't connected any device, ESP8266, or you can say Wi-Fi module. So this port is not displaying anything. After you connect, you have to go to board option, and you have to select this ESP8266 board option. And from here, you need to select this node MC 1.0. And then you have to select this port option after connecting it. So let's wait. I will connect after some time. You need to copy this code. I'll provide this code uh, in the description. Or uh, you can just visit this link and click on this Wi Fi captive portal INO. So open this and copy code from here. When I try this code, it is showing some error. That is no return type something. But I have corrected that. And I will pro provide you the correct code in my Google Drive. Using the link, you can get it. So I'm going to hack my own Wi-Fi network. That is home automation name. As you can see, this is the one, this one hotspot. This is my own. This is home, home automation. You need to keep same name as it is. Look at here, home automation. Uh, so I have kept the same name. Whichever the Wi-Fi you want to hack, you need to keep the same name here. Because we are doing phishing attacks, so we need to make same copy of that Wi-Fi network. After that, I have changed the IP address. You can keep 192.168.1.10 or 1.1 or 1.0 or 0 0.1. You can change this number. If you want to change other things, this messages, you can do that but I'm keeping the same as it is because I will demonstrate to you and you can change according to your need. So after doing that, I will connect the device, Node MCU device in the computer using data cable. Okay, now let me connect the USB cable to connect Node MCU Wi-Fi module to the laptop. 
So just insert the USB cable in the USB port. This is my laptop from where I am doing this practical and I have connected this USB cable here and this is our Node MCU Wi-Fi module. And from here select the serial port, COM3 is here now, I am selecting this. Okay, after doing that, so make sure that you will select the board from the board ESP8266 and from here Node MCU 1.0, this option. If everything is done, just you need to click on this upload button. So don't worry about the code. I have just done everything. It is absolutely correct code. I will provide the link in the description. When you click on the upload button, the code will be uploaded and your Node MCU Wi-Fi module will blink up. The light will blink in the Node MCU module when uploading is done. So for here, for this demonstration, I have kept the name Home Automation because I've already shown you this hotspot name is also home automation. We are trying to do phishing attack, so I'll keep the name same. And for the IP address, I have kept this with them. You can just copy the same as it is. You don't need to make any changes. It will work absolutely 100%. Uploading process started. You can see 14%, 21%, 28% is. We need to wait for some time to upload. It's blinking here in the Node MCU board. You can check it out. Okay, leaving hard resetting via RTS pin. It means uploading process is done. Now, what you need to do? I'm connected with the Ethernet cable. I'm having access to the internet, so I will disconnect it first. As you can see, after uploading the code, this home automation is available here. Okay. I will just disconnect the my internet connection, Ethernet cable. <clears throat> now you can see this home automation is created using our Node MCU board by uploading this code. You need to click on the connect option. So when you click on the connect option, it will automatically redirect to the web page. Look, this web page will be open in the laptop automatically. You can see your router firmware is out of date. Update your firmware to continue browsing normally. This is what fake Wi-Fi we are going to connect. This is fake Wi-Fi. This is not the hotspot what we are giving from here. And this is asking for the password. So basically, Wi-Fi password is asking. So I will enter password for the demo. I'm keeping this password. When you click on this, just check out the Node MCU Wi-Fi module. The light will blink for five times. OK. <clears throat> After it's done, you need to type IP address to check the password is captured or not. 168.1.10 slash PASS pass. I'm connected to this Wi-Fi fake web Wi-Fi from this device and I can check the password. I have just entered this 12345. Before this also I have tried this too. So it is displaying the same. So if I disconnect it again and if I connect back, okay, I'm disconnecting. I'm trying to connect it again. So it will redirect directly to the website. So user will think and we need to enter the password to so do some configuration. It, uh, ERC will enter the password. I'm typing here ASDFGH for now. Again, light will blink up for the five times. And if you go to this website and update it, look at this, this Wi-Fi will get, and we can connect to this Wi-Fi network and we can make changes. It's very simple. In this way, we can hack. If you want to try in mobile smartphone also, it will work in the same way. I will show you. Uh, I will need to connect to the Wi-Fi first. That is the fake Wi-Fi. OK, while connecting, it is asking for the uh, password. So I will enter some this number. OK, then again, if you want to check or change the SSID, just type this 191.6.1.0 slash SSID. So you can change the Wi-Fi name from here. You can type something else. Home only and change SSID, it will be changed. I'm not going to do that for now. So this is how it is done. Thank you very much for watching. In this way, you can try.